they they came here. They stayed a long time. We had the we had the British. We had the Spanish again. I'm, I, it's, Are you going to tell it's, us? It's, all? Yeah, I'm going to tell you the whole thing. I'll tell you the, <laughs> okay. the whole story. And the chorus is in uh, actually in Spanish. It's, it says uh, the uh, the Spanish words go "Viva la Florida," along the Florida. Viva 500 años de historia, long live 500 years of history, viva la Florida. And that is, uh, I, I've been told, uh, perfect Spanglish. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, in honor of Ponce de Leon, do you, you, you sing and, in Spanish. And, uh, yeah, and, ever, and everybody else since then. <laughs> Well, in the 1500s, Juan Ponce de Leon named this land La Florida, and he claimed it for his own. 500 years later, well, not much is the same here in this land of flowers, but we still have the name. Viva La Florida, viva 500 años de historia, viva La Florida. The Spanish stayed 200 years, they never did find gold. They found a lot of fountains, but they kept on getting old. So when the British came along, the Spaniards didn't stay. The British had Havana, so they straight up made a trade. Hey, viva la Florida, viva 500 años de historia, viva la Florida. We were British for a little while, then Spanish once again. Then we became Americans, asked Andy Jackson in. We flew the stars and bars a while, that didn't work out well. Then Flag that brought the railroad down, we had swamp land to sell. Viva la Florida, viva 500 años de historia, viva la Florida. They got on a ship in Florida and flew off to the moon. And people from all over come will be 20 million soon. 500 years of history since Ponce de Leon's day. If he could see La Florida, hey, what would Ponce say? He'd say, Viva La Florida, Viva 500 años de historia, Viva La Florida, Viva La Florida. Viva 500 años de historia, viva la Florida. Grant Livingston, live in the WLRN studio. So that's a new song? That is a new song. 